Hey everybody, this is Rykard here again, and welcome to the next episode of my Pokemon Leaf Green Trades Only playthrough, where we last left off, we defeated the Cinnabar Gym, and did the whole extra Sevi Island quest. So, right now, we are going to go to Viridian City, and take on the last gym leader in Kanto. Which is very exciting, because it's been a while since we have... Or it's been a while since we started this journey, so I am excited to be somewhat coming to a close at this point. But anyways, uh, we are just going to take on the uh, gym leader right here. So we're just going to heal up real quick first, and I'm actually going to put out Lickitung first. Because it does have Surf on it, which I believe will come in handy in a second. Um, because there are a lot of ground-type Pokemon at this gym, because I believe this is the ground-type gym. Obviously, I could also use Jinx, so that is a backup as well, um, but, <clears throat> excuse me, oops, uh, we kind of want to level up some of our other Pokemon first, so it's about time we head over here and go on in, and you cannot even imagine how many times I have screwed that up and actually jumped off that ledge because I'm an idiot. Alright, so I don't exactly know the correct way to do this, but I'm going to talk to this dude. And then hopefully we can go up that way. I think that's how this will work. I don't really know. Oh, wait, this guy, this gym has a lot of karate dudes, doesn't it? That's actually the exact opposite of what I would like for my uh, dude to be fighting. So we're going to switch out right here because this is a terrible matchup. And let's go into Mr. Mime. Ooh, he foresighted me. Okay. <laughs> But yeah, uh, looks like I could probably just, maybe one or two, I think one should, I hope one kills. I don't really know, actually. Oh, look at that, it takes it out one shot, that's pretty awesome. Mr. Mine with that impressive special attack, as always, which nobody expects. Um, and then he brings in the Machop, I'll just leave it in and go for a few more Psy Beams, because that should be good. I know that Mr. Mine learns, um, Psychic at some point soon, I'm hoping it's sooner than later, obviously. Oh, but that'll definitely be very useful to increasing its damage output. Um, and then finally we have one last Machoke, which we should easily be able to take down right here with another Psybeam. So, today has kind of sucked for me a little bit, or at least this week. Uh, sorry I haven't uploaded in like three or four days, but I had a paper to write. I had to be like ten pages-ish for one of my classes, so yeah. That kind of took priority a little bit. I apologize. For those of you that um, have been waiting for me to upload a video, but it's alright. Don't worry about it. I will be back to doing my normal shenanigans soon enough. Okay, so now we have a Marowak. This is the ground type Pokemon that... Oh, whoops, I totally just hit the A button without actually thinking about what I was doing. Oh, but that actually turned out to be Surf anyway. I didn't even realize that that was on the first button, so that's good. Um, also, fun fact, the word button, a lot of people say button which I also do, I say button instead of pronouncing the T's. Isn't that weird? Sorry, just a random side note. Um, but I, I'm curious as to other if other people do this, and I'm not the only, I don't think I'm the only one, but I like, because I asked like a bunch of people that I do as well, like, and they're like, yeah, we totally say um, button instead of button. It just sounds weird to do that, because I'm so used to doing it the other way. Um, but anyways, <laughs> now that we're completely off topic, uh, I gotta switch out because Mr. Mr. Lickitung over here is going to go down if I leave it in. So I'm gonna switch out into my Needle King to fight this Needle Arena, obviously, and resisting the double kick. And then I should be able to take it out pretty easily with a dig, or if I want to be cool and just go for the Fire Blast, I'll just do that now because that looks awesome and I like the animation. And it takes it out, which is great. Uh, I might consider using like a PP up or something on like that. That actually could be pretty cool. Um, we have a Marowak, and let's. Hmm. Let's go to Jinx for this one, actually. And I should be able to one-shot this with a Ice Punch. Seriously, this Jinx has, like, the best moveset ever for an in-game Pokemon. Like, you wouldn't normally get a moveset like this um, in-game. Because you generally... Like, generally the best moves are, like, moves that you get through TMs. Ooh, what did I just do? Did I totally just switch that? That was an accident. Generally the best moves you get are from, like, TMs and other stuff like that. But Jinx apparently gets everything. That, actually, I guess I did give it um, the Psychic. That is true. Uh, okay, I'm going to switch back out to Mark for this. 
Um, but I should have not done that and went for the Psychic instead of the Ice Punch. That was really stupid because then I just got poisoned. I'm really mad about that. All right, well, this Surf should easily take out this Rhyhorn, and we should be on our way to fighting the Gym Leader. Don't know who it is yet, but only one could imagine. Um, and I guess this was like the crazy significant plot point in the game when this happened. Don't feel like battling anyone else. Um, do I have an antidote though? Because that could be nice. I don't think I do. Whatever. We are going to... -ha -ha -ha. This is hideout. Oh my gosh, it's Giovanni. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Surprise for those of you that have never played Kanto games or Generation 1, whatever you want to call it. Um, but we are here now. First guy is a Rhyhorn. Take it out with one Surf. That's pretty nice first Pokemon you got there. Giovanni, you should probably reconsider. Um, I was actually surprised I was faster there, honestly, because Lickitung is pretty freaking slow. Um, Needle Queen comes in. Now we're going to go out into Jinx. I think that's a Needle Queen, right? You know what's weird? There has never been a Dark type gym leader. Isn't that bizarre? I don't know why that's the case. We've had two Dark type Elite Four members. We've had Karen. And then that guy in Hoenn, I think. I don't know what... No, and actually, no. There's been, like, a bunch of Dark-type. What am I talking about? Like, almost every other generation has had a Dark-type gym leader. But anyway, um, it's, like, really weird that... Or, sorry, Elite Four member, but we've never had a Dark-type gym leader, which I thought... I just think it's very strange, because it's such a cool typing, and there's, like, so many interesting Pokemon that are Dark-typed. Wow, that's a level 50 Rhyhorn. Look at that. That's the highest Pokemon we've seen so far. Um... What else has he got? A Doug Trio. Ooh, I don't want to leave that in. We're going to go in a far-fetched here. <laughs> this is going to be it right now. Um, I could probably slash it and kill it after he hits me. Because Doug Trio... Doug Trio... <laughs> is such an underwhelming Pokemon. It's so fast. It has such an amazing ability at a Rita Trap. But it sucks. Like, it doesn't do any damage. It's such a pain in the butt. All right. Let's see how many hyper potions he uses. Okay, there you go. Uh, I didn't get any crits there. I'm pretty upset about that. There it is, but that didn't matter. Um, all right, Farfetch level 45. I think it's the highest level Pokemon on my team right now. What does he have left? Nido King. All right, I am going to go back out into... Actually, let's go to Mr. Mime for this one. And I should be able to take this out with a Psychic pretty easily. I feel like this is, honestly, the easiest gym in the game. The more, the more I think about it, like, because it's ground type, and you are almost guaranteed at this point in the game to, like, have a Psychic type or a Water type or even a Grass type, you know? Like, it's really bizarre that ground is the last... I guess there's a lot of really cool ground Pokemon and everything but like that, but it just seems like not the best choice for, like, difficulty purposes, at least in my opinion. But anyways, we got the Earth Badge, yeah, and now we are officially a Pokemon Master and can tackle the Elite Four, which I'm very happy about. What did we get? Do we don't get, do we get Fissure? Oh, it's Earthquake, yeah. All right, I thought it was Fissure, but that's the wrong game. Okay, so now that we have Earthquake, and because Nidoking doesn't actually learn Earthquake by itself, which sucks, we're going to teach that right now to Nidoking. And that means this Pokemon is going to be starting to do some pretty, pretty serious damage. So, yeah. Yep. We're going to have a stab, really powerful, normal type move. So we're going to get rid of Dig. I'd rather not have Double Kick on here, but it's not that bad, I guess. Maybe I should teach him Blizzard. I don't know. We'll figure that all that stuff out later. Um, ooh, and I should give Brick Break to someone, actually, now that I think about it. But anyways, we are going to head over... Actually, I have to do one thing really quick, which is switch one of the Pokemon in my party after I heal this Pokemon Center. But uh, we're going to go fight Blue in just a second. Uh, I think we do, at least. Oops, no, I hit the button too many times. Stop it. Stop talking. Okay. Excuse me. Um, all right, we're going to swap out, I think, Electrode, honestly. Um, yeah, I think Electrode. We're going to go... Yeah, we're going to make this shift. Because Electrode doesn't have a TM, right? Okay. And we got to teach... I think Tangela can learn Cut. And I know you guys get annoyed with how I say that, but you know what? 
Pokemon Stadium calls it Tangela. So, yeah. <laughs> I should be able to. I could say Tangela, but that just doesn't sound as cool. Or Tang to Jenny. Tan Jenny. Yeah, what should I get rid of? Um, growth, because it has no purpose. <laughs> In this game, at least. I think it increases special defense only, right? Is that how that works? Um, not special attack like it does in 5th gen, I believe. Okay. Um, do get into a stupid battle? Yeah, hey, alright. Battle with rival. Yeah, let's do it. Alright, so if you noticed right there, I just did a bit of a jump cut. Um, turns out that my Pokemon were fairly underleveled for this battle. So I had to go battle, and you'll notice that I also put Electrode back in the party, getting rid of Tangela, because I'm going to get that in just a second. But, or I'm going to get that in a second when I need cut, but either way, uh, we have to do this battle now, and I can't, you know, go with the original strategy <laughs> that I meant to go for. <coughs> Excuse me. Because I was hoping to not have to use this Pokemon at all, but it looks like I need it because I, again... Lost about four or five times on the freaking Charizard. So, yeah, I leveled up my guys a little bit. Uh, as you saw, Electrode gained about ten levels since you last saw him. But, thankfully, we will be in a pretty good position now to hopefully win this battle without too much trouble. But I guess we'll see. Um, but, yeah, this should be a one-shot against this Rhyhorn. Um, Electrode obviously having Spark to take out the... Uh, Pidgeot, which you saw before, and also the Gyarados, which I'm about to run into, which this is the Execute, though, so... Hmm. Yeah, I'll just leave it in. Why not? I'll let Mark level out once. <coughs> Ooh, it is... How is it faster? Wow. Lickitung is just super slow, I guess. No! Sleep Powder, no! Okay. Uh, <coughs> I think I'm gonna just try to wake up. Oh, wait, he's going to go for Solar Beam. That's kind of a big deal. Thankfully, we live in a gen where the sleep turns reset. Or, don't reset. So I did burn two to turns of sleep right there. So there's a very high probability I will level up. Uh, but this should only do about, like, 30 points, I'm guessing. But yeah, I was absolutely right. Look at that. I'm amazing. And I'm just going to go for the fly. And that should take out this Execute. Yeah, there you go. Good, go good job, Farfetch'd. <clears throat> Mark leveled up, and Farfetch is going to come close. Alakazam comes in. Actually, I'll stay in for this, because I think I can take it out with one slash. I shouldn't have too much trouble with that. Maybe I'll go for Calm Mind. Nope, just for the Psychic. I think I could live a Psychic, though. Yeah, there we go. And yeah, that should take it out. Yeah, especially with a crit. So Farfetch leveled up, level 49 now. It's I think it's my highest level in Pokemon, which is pretty funny. Uh, and now Gyarados comes in, so we're going to go back out into E-Sphere. And the strategy for the next two Pokemon is that I am going to lead with Mr. Bibe, have it do some damage, and then hopefully have this guy kill it with Spark. Hopefully. But we'll see. Um, hopefully, like I said, I don't want to have to redo this battle like five more times, but I know that Electrode will outspeed, so I think I'm going to do that. So, actually... Let's read with you first, because you will easily be able to take a flamethrower, and maybe you'll wake up and do some good damage to it on the way. So, go for Surf. Ooh, I could even try and disable it. That'd be pretty nice. Or you could just get a critical hit flamethrower. That's always cool. This game. <laughs> this game hates me. Uh, I actually don't really have anything to hit him with, which kind of sucks. All right, Mr. Bob, you can take one. You'll have speed. Because you are a timid nature. I got super lucky with that, let me tell you. Ooh, he missed. That's awesome. Ooh, so I can encore him into Scary Face. Yes! I totally just won this battle. Being awesome. I'm very proud of this. <laughs> That's possibly the coolest thing I've ever done. I think this is a three shot, so I should only take two more, maybe? Oh, it's going to take more than that. No, it ended and now he's in blaze range. Okay, I think I think Electro had a lot of speed though, so <laughs> hopefully we're still good on this front. But damn, 
Uh, this, see, this is what kept happening. The Charizard would get in Blaze Rage, and then I wouldn't be able to kill it, because it would just one-shot everything with Flamethrower. But thankfully, Electrode's around. It's faster. It's going to gain 3,500 experience points. That's intense. And we defeated Blue. Yeah. Okay. So now we can finally head off to Victory Road, which is a good thing. Uh, I'm just going to go swap out my party really quick, just to give me Tangela. And I can't move. And this is going super fast. Alright, we're slowing things down a bit there. Um, yeah, we're just going to heal up everybody first, and then we should be good to go. I think I have all the HMs that I need. Um, and I don't know if I need strength. I think this might be the one of the places in the game where you need strength, actually. But we'll figure it out. Actually, I'm almost positive of it. Um, but yeah, we got to get this guy. I really don't want to... Or, sorry. Oh yeah, by the way, I totally forgot. Um, Rhyhorn. I mean, not Rhyhorn. Um... Ponyta, I was thinking Rapidash, so I started with R. Um, I'm not going to trade for that because you have to get that on one of the Sevi Islands, and I don't feel like going back over there. So even though we can trade a Ponyta for a seal, and I you know, I don't plan on using the seal anyway, so it doesn't really matter in this sense. Um, it's not that big of a deal, but yes, I could go there and make that last trade if I so desired to. All right, just give me one second. Who do I want to lead with? We're going to actually go with you, because there's a lot of rock types in this tunnel, and it'll give Mark some experience. That'll be nice. That's the boulder badge. Go right ahead. That's the cascade badge. I think this might be the only game where you have to go through, like, this whole, like, series of people to check if you have the badges. Yeah, see, you have to have all the HMs. It's so stupid. I'm glad they didn't make it like this later, because um, you got to have all the HMs to get through this section. At least I think you do. Um, at least I could be wrong, though, but I'm pretty sure you have to. Ooh, whoa, there's Pokemon over here? What? <laughs> I didn't even know that. All right. Oh, I ran it out of here. I totally thought you needed Cut. I am an idiot. Oh, wow. These are, like, super high-leveled. Hang on. We're switching out. No, we're not. We're gonna fight. Ooh, yeah, that would've been bad if I made that switch. Alright, so I'm totally gonna grind some levels before I go fight the Elite Four, but, like, this is pretty sweet that I can find level 42 Pokemon. Jeez. These are, like, basically the level I am. Yeah, Quick Claw. Activate. Alright, I gotta get, like, Maybe like 2,000 for this? 1,500-ish. Okay, that's fine. I swear to God, you needed... Cut. Maybe I'm a liar. Wait, what do I do? Oh, there's probably like an item in that thing. Eh, whatever. Maybe I'm an idiot. Okay. Well, maybe there's a Poké Center at the end of this? Nope. Okay, let's do this, guys. Victory Road. Hmm... Okay. Do you dude surf you? How much do these guys give? I'm guessing like 600, 700? Alright, yeah, 600 ish. Alright, so I think I gotta push this boulder to the right. So we're gonna go do that. Ooh, and you know what? Actually, hang on. I'm gonna lead off with Jinx instead. And I'm just gonna use Repel. Um, there's no reason for me to not do this right now, so. Where's the super duper ones that I have? Well, I have a super. I have a bunch of super repels, and I also have a bunch of max repels, which are nice. Just make sure I don't accidentally walk out of this place. Okay, how am I gonna do this? Sweet. All right, so we got that one. And then, I can't push that anyway. I think that's like a shortcut to the way out. Ooh, wow, I ran... What level is this thing? Holy crap. <laughs> Damn. Alright, well, I should be able to one-shot it, which is nice, because... Um, yeah, 46. Wow, okay. So, the the last area where you really have po fight Pokemon before this is, like, not one that has very high level. I think it's, like... 
Do I have to make a choice? I have to make a choice. <laughs> I honestly... Okay, Dragon Claw, that's actually sweet. Alright, hang on. I'm gonna go back out and go back in to... Get that. Do I have to, actually? If that boulder is now gone, I'm gonna be upset. Oh, it totally is. Whatever. And I gotta do a battle again. What the heck? Ooh, a Marowak. These things can actually pack... Um, the Thick Club, which is really cool, because you can get this really late game, and it's, like, super powerful. No reason to ever get a Cubone. You can just get a Marowak with a Thick Club. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, I'm totally leveling a bunch of guys up before I fight the Elite Four, because I'm getting a good amount of experience from this, which is really nice. Um, I went and I went back and I fought a bunch of the, um, uh, Pokemon trainers that were on the way to the, uh... Seafoam Islands, just to gain some experience. Um, so I thought that was a good idea, at least. But we're going to go for the Repel again. Just to... Okay. Um, and yeah, that was that was how I leveled up a bunch of my guys. But, um, yeah. Alright, do I want to fight this trainer? Totally not. Oh, wait, no, I was going to get that. Ah, I can't control my character. <laughs> Move. Okay. We're good. Rare candy. Okay, that's pretty nice, I guess. I don't think I'm going to use it, but it might be good for just, like, an extra level for the hell of it. Alright, so... I'm going to just try and dodge all of these guys. Um, I can't go that way yet. But I can push this. So I will push this on the switch. See, I like the puzzles in these games, but it sucks that, like... Or at least in most scenarios that, like, it's not just a puzzle. It's a puzzle plus you have to run into, like, 5,000 wild battles at the same time. Which is what is kind of the turnoff of the puzzles. Okay, we got one guy. He looks like he's a fighter. So I should be able to just clean house with my, um, psychic here. Hopefully. Yeah, I'm a choke. This shouldn't be too big of a problem. So let's just take it out very quickly here. So my goal is to upload this video as well as part two today, which is Friday, October 11th. Um, right, ba like they're gonna, I'm just going to upload them one after the other. Um, I, it should be split into two parts because there's no reason why anyone should watch this for like, you know, 40 minutes straight or whatever, 50 minutes, however long the two episodes will be. Uh, I think that's a little excessive personally, but um, the reason why I want to get this done today, obviously, is because... I do want to just focus on 6th gen uh, because it's coming out and I'm buying it tonight at midnight. So yeah, that's going to be my main focus for now and hopefully um, it's going to be super fun. I'm really excited and I hope you all are too um, for those of you that are also getting the games. And we got this guy defeated, which is fantastic. All right. Jinx in um, Pokemon Gold was like my Pokemon. Like I used it so much and it's so useful in most situations. Wow, do I really have to push a boulder that far? Hang on. Or is this like one of those things where I have to... Can I beat... Oh yeah, wow, they would really let me do that. That's pretty cool. I got hail and sandstorm, okay. Um, that guy didn't even talk to me. Alright, so I gotta push this switch. Somehow, but I didn't see where the boulder was. Or maybe it's, um... I have to go downstairs on the other side and then push that boulder there and then I can go up those stairs. I think that makes the most sense. Totally, I'm totally making like hand motions right now, which none of you can obviously see. But they're there, trust me. Um, okay, I fought that guy. Uh, and just keep repelling things. Um, where was the ladder, actually? I totally just missed it. Was it back over here? Yeah, it's this one. Alright. We got a rock here, and I want that item, so <laughs> I will fight him. I am totally a child prodigy, except I'm not a child, but I could be. All right, Exeggutor, I got a ice punch for y'all face right now, and your special defense is severely lacking in comparison to your physical defense, so this should be should one-shot it, I think, hopefully. I can't imagine Exeggutor doing that much damage to me, though, unless it, like, stun spores or sleep powders or something like that. 
Um, Arcanine. Oh, I'm definitely switching. Um, let's go into Nido. Oh, wait, it's probably going to Intimidate, though. Hopefully it doesn't have it. Maybe it has Flash Fire. Um, oh, it's got it. Okay, well, this will be a two-shot, but that's still good. I don't think I'm going to take two. Oh, crap, wrong move. I can't. Maybe I'll get a crit, and it'll make up for it. Okay. Whoops. So that did about 60 points of damage. Earthquake should be 300, I believe, a stab. So maybe this will kill it. Okay, well, I got a crit. That works out. And I didn't take too much damage from that. No big deal. All right, and then going to use Cloyster. I'm going to stay in for this because I'm pretty confident that I can just kill it with a Fire Blast. Because Cloyster's special defense is like two. Um, I feel like I've said that a few times in this playthrough, but it totally is true. It's awful. Um, Sandslash, we're going to switch out, go back into... Let's go to Mark. He's totally like the least leveled of all of them. Um, I'm honestly not impressed with Lickitung, to be completely honest. I wished, or I wish it was better than it is, but it's just so slow without the Quick Claw, which you just saw activate there, and it's just like... It's pretty underwhelming, at least. Well, good thing that's going to do, like, two damage. Okay. Oh, you jerk with your hyper potions and your healing in between battle and the things of that nature. All right. Well, hopefully he doesn't have, like, Earthquake or something that's going to easily take me out. He has Swift. Okay, again. As long as he doesn't crit, I should be good. And I'll gain, like, 2,000 from this, which is really nice. I've been debating on teaching either... This guy, or was that Electrode, or... Yeah, I don't want to Nito either way. Um, I couldn't... I, I just saw a letter E, and I totally blanked. Um, I totally lost... Oh, I was going to teach either Mr. Nito or Mark Blizzard. Um, but I don't know. I should use the TM, because I have it, but I don't know if I, like, really want to use it, you know? Um, we'll see, I guess, though. Or I could totally get rid of Double Kick on this guy and give him Sunny Day and Solar Beam or something like that. That'd be kind of cool. Um, I don't actually know if he can learn Solar Beam. Probably, but I just never thought about it because you don't really see it. But it'd be pretty cool because I have Fire Blast. Ooh, I got a Max Revive. That's actually really nice. Alright, where am I pushing this block? Here. Okay. I got Overheat. That's nice. Okay. So I got this block, I came up those stairs, I can't go that way, and I'm pretty sure that door to my right is the way out. Okay. Let's go. I gotta be very careful about this, because I don't want to have to go out and back in. Da, 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 da. Alright, <laughs> right, so we're going to push it that way. No repel. Alright, we can do this without repel. Okay, we are safe. Now, what does that open up exactly? Oh, it's down there. Okay. If I go down here, does it reset? Because... Maybe? I don't know. I'm just in, I'm just curious. I kind of want to explore this place a little bit, so I apologize if this is taking longer than it should. <laughs> but I just want to do this, and then I'm gonna be. I'm actually, you know, I feel like I'm one of the few people that actually enjoys like grinding out a little bit. It's not that bad to me, at least. Um, guard spec, okay, that's not too useful, but it could prove to be maybe. I don't know. But yeah, I'm just gonna run. Oh wait, I, I should I put the, 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 the words put the rappel back on. <laughs> there we go. And then I'll push this down, and I think there's a switch to the left, so I'm gonna go activate that now with this boulder. Wait, what am I talking about? It was this switch that I didn't know how to do. Right? Wait. How do I do that? I'm totally blanking right now. 
Maybe I have to push a rock down a hole. That's probably true. I'm totally blanking on this, though, but I guess we'll see. All right, let me go back up there, and hopefully I don't have to move the rock. Of course I do. Why wouldn't I? <laughs> that's also something that's kind of annoying, to be completely honest. All right. So that, I guess that staircase is just to get that item. Which is okay, I guess. But it was just a guard spec. It was kind of upsetting. Alright, cool. We're good to go. And now I can go through. Damn it, repel lasts longer. <laughs> I feel like it should. I mean, I know this isn't the max one, but the max one's only slightly more. Where did that boulder come from? What? What? <laughs> what? That's so bizarre. Okay. Maybe that's what I needed to do before? And this... Just leads out to where I was, right? Yeah, what the... Oh my god! What is with the scrolling things off-screen nonsense going on right now? Oh god, I didn't mean to fight this battle. What is with... what is that about? Somebody please tell me, because that's ridiculous. <laughs> I didn't even know that happened. Alright. Go fairy, which is now a fairy type. Fun fact. Alright, I will psychic you. Uh, we'll go back into Farfetch'd for this one, because it just seems like she's a normal type trainer. And Farfetch should be able to clean up pretty easily against that. This should take it out in two hits, or one crit. Or just one shot. Wow, I didn't even think it was going to be that much. Wow. Okay, the Dugong. I'm not even going to switch out for that. Even though I know this is an unfavorable matchup. <laughs> I'm about to be seeing a lot of Dugong once I fight Lorelei. Oh, wow. Okay, maybe I can live it? Maybe I can live it? I probably can. Dugong special attack isn't very amazing. Yeah, it did a decent amount. You punk. <laughs> Alexa! Well, I'll get another crit. Why not? <laughs> Two in a row. Third? Why not? Nope. Okay. I figured I would fish for it anyway. And then Persian. Okay. Oh, you know, I need to teach something brick break. I totally need to teach something brick break. Um, why not leave it in? I don't really care that much at this point. I just want to see that 5-0 payday technician. Oh, wait, no. I don't think it had technician this gen. I think it got technician fourth gen. But I'm totally going to get some extra money from this, which is nice. And I hope you level up Farfetch'd. Maybe? Maybe, maybe? No, so close. Chansey. Oh, I'm definitely staying in for this. <laughs> if only Farfetch had Roost. I really want to see this one-shot it. <laughs> so funny. Level 50, guys. We have a level 50 Pokemon, which I was not expecting to um, get level 50 so easily. Alright. Cool. Alright. One more repel, because now we're going to go down the hole. There we go. I was totally right about this. Alright, so we're pushing it. And it's going to go on the button. And we are going to head up. And that should be it, guys. I think this is the end. Oh, we got one more fighter. Oh, no, we could totally skip him. Alright, guys, we have finally made it to the Indigo Plateau. So... 
that will be it for this episode, everybody, as I walk up these staircase of amazing awesomeness, okay? But that is it for this video, everybody, so thank you all for watching. As always, take care, goodbye, and I will see you next time for the finale, where we take on the Elite Four and our rival for the last time.